don't get it twisted guys this movie is awesome finally a disaster movie that's not a disaster a sequel that sticks to the basic criteria now it's nothing revolutionary it doesn't do anything to change the formula but what the movie does well is just being a good movie that's very entertaining a honest and very entertaining movie it's very hard to find nowadays it's not trying to outdo the original in any specific way basically it's just building on what made the original so fantastic and it just elevates the story in a different and unique way and brings it forth to a new audience now look guys the original movie wow this is vhs i had this movie on vhs and it was on constant rotation in the house i think i must have watched that movie maybe 50 times i'm not gonna lie guys one of my favorites helen hunt bill paxton i'll never forget that opening scene and it was very scary but as you go into the story, you realize that, okay, this is actually about storm chases. Now, this movie, by design, is similar, you know? It features likable characters who get themselves in very awkward situations with terrible storm, me, weather, yes. The original basically started my fascination with mother nature i mean i was watching nat geo non-stop storm chases wow i just got a rush every time i saw what these guys were doing i myself personally wouldn't do what they're doing and when i saw that f5 category five now for those who don't know tornadoes come in different categories and f5 is is the big daddy the one that just goes all out and does massive damage. So luckily I don't live in Tornado Alley and I can only imagine the devastation of the people living in that area. It must be frightening when you see that storm building and brewing in the clouds. That's just, that's just insane, guys. I'm not going to lie. So... This movie, if you have a fear for those type of things, this movie will definitely elevate your fear when it comes to tornadoes. Leave it to Joseph Kaczynski for writing a brilliant follow-up story to another classic movie. I mean, he directed Top Gun Maverick and we all know how great that movie was. So he penned the story for this movie and he definitely knows what the audience wants you know it's not gonna go into different unnecessary territories basics like i said before basics are done very well stick to the script and the movie just comes out effortless and that's what i love about this movie it's a very entertaining movie you don't have to be a fan of the original to enjoy this movie basically you can just dive in and but a recommendation go watch the original movie it will just elevate the material for you it will make you more excited you know get that skin crawling so definitely watch the original go into this you're gonna be blown away the story focuses on kate cooper now she finds a way back into the field after a devastating encounter with a tornado she teams up with a friend and they run into, you know, the charismatic Tyler Owens, played by, you guessed it, Glenn Powell. Now, they are deep in stormy seasons, so things get out of hand. And I mean, if you, if you think about the plot, guys, that's just, that's like the sentence itself is like this big, but it's in the execution of the movie where the movie just shines shines like it's been a while since i've had a movie where you can just go in not have any massive expectations oh this must live up to the original it's not as good as the original no it's a standalone sequel you know and the font they stole the, they definitely stole the font the iconic font from the original poster but that's about it 
it's its own beast, its own animal, its own storm. Pretty simple. Cinematography, it looks stunning, guys. It looks amazing, brilliant. You know, the if I go back and I watch the original movie and I see the CGI, who it doesn't hold up at all. But it's understandable that was back in the day. But then imagine now with all the CGI and VFX and sound design that we have now, it just elevates the movie to another level. And definitely a different experience altogether if I compare it to the original. You know, and that is what makes this movie stand out. You know, I'm not going to compare this directly to the original because it's its own animal. But definitely in terms of visual effects and sound design, it it's a step above. I mean, crazy. The cast is brilliant, guys. I mean, you have Daisy and Anthony and then you just have Glenn show up and obviously he steals the show guys but the combination of the cast it's a brilliant balance you know great talent great talent and i love the fact that the only well-known actor here is basically glenn powell and sometimes the movie needs that that's that actually makes it easier to connect with the characters and i feel like that's definitely what they went for here and it works in the movie's favor and this is this is an easy review, guys. The reason why I say it's easy because the movie is just that entertaining. Rating. I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 5. It's a solid summer blockbuster. People will love this movie. I don't know if it will grow legs like the original. Obviously, we live in a different time, but it's a solid package. You will get blown away by this. Cow up in the sky. Beef barbecue it's gonna happen brilliant guys twisters like i said before don't get it twisted the movie is good please let me know what you guys think about twisters down below in the comment section have you watched this movie are you interested did you see the trailer are you gonna wait for digital honestly this is something that's worth checking out on the big screen it's a it's an experience yes simple plot great characters Visual effects, sound design, everything is on point. A solid movie that you will enjoy. Let me know, guys. That's it for me. Catch you on the next video.